once a leader in Massachusetts politics. Now, former Governor Paul Cellucci is taking the lead on another cause, fighting Lou Gehrig's disease. Plus a Newton nightmare, an elementary school teacher charged with child pornography. And fighting gang violence face to face, a new documentary follows the real crime fighters. Now on Greater Boston. Good evening. He's been governor, acting governor, lieutenant governor, and served as ambassador to Canada during the Bush administration. Now, Paul Cellucci has taken on a strictly bipartisan cause, ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, better known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Cellucci was diagnosed with ALS three years ago and is in a fight for his life as he uses his connections, past and present, to raise $10 million in research money for the UMass Medical School in Worcester. And that's where we sat down with him earlier this week. My arms and legs have gotten a little weaker, but everything else is okay. Uh, I continue to uh, do my work uh, every day. I uh, get out every day. I'm, I'm feeling good. I mean, uh, that's, uh, that's a very good thing. I, I, I feel terrific. How has it affected you personally? I mean, you're a former governor. You're still obviously totally with it intellectually, but you lose the physical capacity of your body. Right. I mean, fortunately, uh, for me, uh, you know, my, my work is uh, on the telephone, on, on the computer, going to meetings. Uh, so I've been able to uh, continue as a special counsel at McCarter and English, uh, the law firm in Boston. Obviously having a great time with my, my three grandchildren. Uh, and I'm staying, staying very active. And, uh, you know, I'm not driving. Yes, uh, I'm not golfing, but uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I feel good, and I'm very active and, and very engaged. Now largely confined to a wheelchair, Paul Cellucci says the disease has progressed very slowly since he first realized something was wrong three years ago. How did it first manifest itself with you? Well, the funny thing for me is I, I, I would be reading the newspaper and my uh, I had tremors in my arms that's how it first uh, kind of manifested it itself and fortunately for me it's you know it stayed in, in in my limbs just for people who aren't at all familiar with ALS Lou Gehrig's disease amyotrophic lateral sclerosis what is it well it's a disease that affects your uh, your motor neurons your, your motor neurons uh, are what send the signals to your muscles and as the motor neurons uh, die off, which is what happens in ALS, uh, your, your, your muscles uh, get weaker and uh, will eventually, in some cases, not, not work. Uh, and it can go quickly, it can go uh, slowly. Uh, you know, I was diagnosed uh, about three years ago with the preliminary diagnosis, so uh, I feel fortunate that I only have weakness in my arms and legs and everything else is, is okay. There is no known cure for ALS, but doctors at UMass Medical School in Worcester believe they are getting close. The money being raised by Salucci and friends will fund a $10 million endowment to research ALS and other neurodegenerative diseases. They're making a lot of progress, like, like here at UMass, uh, you know, Craig Mello who won the Nobel prize in medicine a few years ago, uh, he's figured out a way to turn off offending genes. He's working in collaboration with my doctor, Robert Brown, who's one of the preeminent ALS researchers in the world. Uh, and they're collaborating to see if, uh, when they find the gene, whether they'll be able to turn it off uh, and, and stop the disease from, uh, from progressing. You know, one of the best things state government ever did was to create the UMass Medical School. Uh, and interestingly, when I was governor back in 1997, I signed into law the legislation that essentially merged the UMass Medical School Hospital with the Memorial Hospital here in Worcester, which became UMass Memorial, with the requirement 
that the medical school make a major commitment to research. In addition to his fundraising and work at the law firm, Salucci still has a couple of projects going in Canada, where he served as ambassador during the Bush administration. And he has most certainly not lost his interest in politics. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in Florida and and beyond. I, I still think uh, Mitt Romney's got the edge. I think his business experience, his experience at turning things around like like the Olympics uh, is what will will win the day for him. You supporting Mitt Romney? I'm supporting Mitt, yes. No bad feelings there? No bad feelings. I was <laughs> with uh, I was with Rudy four years ago, who's an old and great friend of mine, had a I remember campaigning with him in Little Cuba down in Miami and up in uh, New Hampshire as well. So, uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm happy to be uh, supporting Mitt this time. I, I kind of agree with uh, Peggy Noonan. Uh, Newt Ginrich is the guy in the room with the hand grenade with the pin out. And I just don't think that's, uh, that's the person we want to put up as our nominee. So with a foot still in politics, Paul Salucci has mustered a world of bipartisan support for his cause, finding a cure for ALS. What kind of a personal message would you send to other people in your situation? Well, you got to focus on, uh, on what you can't do, and that's exactly what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, as I say, I, I feel good. Uh, I feel that I'm productive. I feel that I'm... Um, critical part of my family, and I would urge others uh, to do the same. Very uh, fortunate to have a great family and great friends, and uh, we're, uh, we're doing well. Thank you. All right, and when we continue, Newton residents are stunned by the arrest of a popular teacher on child porn charges. Superintendent David Fleischman is here.